Members, on his feet and ready to make his presentation is the member from Westmoreland Eastern. We now welcome member Daniel Lawrence. Madam Speaker, it is a pleasure to address this honorable house and this my third occasion. <laughs> to report to this country and to the people of Westmoreland Eastern and my performance during the past year. Madam Speaker, I would like to thank the Almighty God for his continued guidance and source of all blessings. To God be the glory, great things he has done. The month of November is celebrated as National Youth Month a global celebration which celebrates our youth through a variety of month-long activities aimed at recognizing, engaging, and empowering Jamaican youth. Youth are being challenged this year under the theme, the year of the youth trending for a sustainable future. We represent a call to action for young people to rebrand, revamp, strategize while leveraging their platform to opportunities to trend in the businesses, academic pursuit, and health and mental wellness. They strive to be the best version of themselves. Recommendations to our Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Andrew Holness, for his strong leadership. Jamaica is stronger and more prosperous today under his firm and courageous leadership. One for yourself. <laughs> Westmoreland Eastern constituency and in Westmoreland Eastern constituency and particular the hard working counselors, caretakers and workers who have dedicated themselves to supporting me in working to improve the lives of the citizens of Westmoreland Eastern. To the people of Westmoreland Eastern who have given me the privilege of being here, I value your confidence, love, support throughout the years. I promise to continue to serve you with sincerity and commitment. My colleagues in Parliament, thank, thank you for your never-ending support and encouragement. Madam Speaker, our health is our responsibility, and today I want to express gratitude to Minister Tufton for his invaluable investment towards the Dalistan Health Center rehabilitation and the expansion, also for the fencing of the White House Health Center. <laughs> Education has always been my top priority. Once again, Madam Speaker, we have hosted four back to school medical fairs in the four divisions where we did free medicals, eye testing, supplies to stu supplied students with bags, books, and stationaries. Additionally, we allocated $2.5 million towards book vouchers for students. 
at the graduation ceremonies of the two high school in my constituency, Madam Speaker. I pledge $100,000 scholarship for the two highest performing students. from my constituency, one for each high school. Education is for improving the lives of others and for leaving the community, the world, better than we found it. Madam Speaker, step by step, we are building a brighter tomorrow. Madam Speaker, we continue to lobby, our, lobby for our farmers as our constituents are highly dependent on farming. We cannot overemphasize the road conditions that they have to travel on. We are expected to rehabilitate the Agile Mountain and Nisbury Lane farm roads to ease the transportation burden of the farmers. Madam Speaker, over 70 bags of fertilizers were di distributed to farmers across the constituency. <laughs> Through the RADA PIP program, farmers are, are also expected to benefit from day-old chicken fertilizers, seeds, herbicides, and pesticides shortly. Madam Speaker, as a proud product of fishing, I relentlessly lobby for the road leading to the fishing village in White House to be fixed. And Madam Speaker, I am pleased to answer, answered as work is scheduled to commence shortly. In addition, fisher folks receive over 100 rolls of fish pot wires, life jackets, and other fishing equipment. Madam Speaker, through a $40 million allocation received, several roads patching has been done across the length and breadth of the constituency. Areas such as Ramsey Corner to Lambs River, Seaford Town to Stewie, Seaford Town to Dundee, Bethel Town to Stewie, Hope Town to Windsor Forest, Hope Town to Akendown, Bigos, Darlistan to Bamboo Gully, Petersville, and more patching is soon to be delivered. <laughs> Madam Speaker, in my last presentation, I made mention of the Cedar Valley, Lime Tree Lane, and Pinnock Shafton Roads that was scheduled to be begin soon from my CDF fund. Today, I am happy to, happy to be the bearer of good news. The first phase of all three roads have been completed. Madam Speaker, another two roads, Road Town in White House and Mall Road in Bethel Town are presently in procurement stages and are slated to be rehabilitated through the CDF funds. Prosperity time for the people of Westmoreland East. <laughs> Madam Speaker, special thanks to Minister McKenzie for his allocation of funds for the rehabilitation of the Bigford Lodge Road in Big Woods. It is 90% complete. Through Mr. McKenzie also, Madam Speaker, the Dundee to Mount, the Charles Mount Road has been scoped for rehabilitation. 
Madam Speaker, it has been it it would be remiss of me to stand here today and not also to thank Minister Warmington and his ministry for their timely intervention in the drain cleaning program. Drains were clean in all four divisions of the constituency. And more is taking place even as we speak. Madam Speaker, $10 million allocation was allocated for the top road in Daristan, which is 70% complete. Again, Madam Speaker, in my last presentation, I made mention of the, of the Witan to Daristan Main Road. Today, I am happy to announce that work is in progress. This road, Madam Speaker, is used by over three quarters of the cup constituency and the people are extremely happy as they have been waiting for this type of prosperity for decades. Madam Speaker, we have the garden to Congress, cave to Bagney. Chesterfield to Seaford Town, Stewie to Seaford Town, Hopeton to Akendown, White House to Ferris, and the list with NRA for rehabilitation. Madam Speaker, for, Madam Speaker, for the the bridge at Skaskov, the border between Westmoreland and St. Elizabeth, an allocation of $150 million sorry, has been allocated for the rehabilitation. I am asking Minister Warmington to take a look at a Bailey Bridge that was constructed temporarily over 30 years ago in the Garden White House area. It has lived out its temporary life and now become a hazard to road users. Madam Speaker, water is a sore point. Government has made millions of dollars available to upgrade the Roaring River treatment plant to improve the water supply to areas such as Lambs River, Cottage, Barneyside, and Darlistan. Madam Speaker, the Cambridge treatment plant will also benefit from a major upgrade that will supply that will supply water to areas such as Betteltown and community leading off. That has been suffering, Madam Speaker, for years without water. Madam Speaker, for the long-awaited Petersville, for the long-awaited well in Petersville, construction is scheduled to start in short order, the Petersville, the residents of Petersville, Long Hill, Pustown, Fostick Grove, Congress, White House, and other areas will benefit tremendously from this new well. Madam Speaker, the rehabilitation, the river, Madam Speaker, rehabilitation work at a cost of $10 million has been done at the community center. Community catchment along with an installation of a new pipeline. Madam Speaker, did the people of Ashburn get pipelines, new pipelines, but water pouring through the lines and the community is having water.
Madam Speaker, with the rippling effect of the joke, Minister Mackenzie has made a great input available for chucking of water to the communities. Special thanks to Minister Mackenzie for this input. Madam Speaker, in recognizing the importance of growth in our economy, we have distributed approximately 300 entrepreneurial grants to business operators and farmers. Madam Speaker, not only are we investing in road water in Westmoreland Eastern, we are investing in citizens to assist through other welfare programs like compassionate grant and even with their funeral and medical expenses. Hats off to the Minister of Labor and Social Security, Minister Colonel Charles Jr., which has assisted to short term poverty alleviation program. Madam Speaker, the record speaks for itself. The best is yet to come. For Westmoreland Eastern, and I continue this diligent journey. I pray that Almighty God will forever grant me with the wisdom, understanding, and good health to carry, my to carry out my duties. God bless the people of Westmoreland Eastern, and God bless Jamaica. Oh,